Take first question right here in the second row. Clay Wesley Addy from Summit D Sports. We all know about game six, Clay, but there might not be a game six. Are we going to see a game five, Clay, instead now? <laughs> uh, you're going to see me, and you're going to see me being myself. And you're just going to see a resilient Warrior team. Uh, we've been backed our backs against the wall before with this same group. I mean, even last year being down 3-2, obviously it's a little more daunting being down 3-1, but um, usually when our backs against the wall, we respond the best. So hopefully I'll add another part to whatever legacy you want to carve out for me tomorrow, game five, clay, whatever. But I just want to come out, you know, if I compete to the best of my ability, I'll be uh, satisfied with the results. No Over here on the left hey, side. Hey, Clay, Trista Crick, USA Today. Two-part question. Just going off of your comment about resiliency, what do you think the biggest key to being resilient is? Um, the biggest key, I think there's two of them. It's focus and passion. Uh, the, the talent side, the skill, the putting the ball in the hoop, that'll take care of itself, especially when we play with more passion than the other team. We play with a great focus. Um, that's when you see the best type of basketball in the world from us. And it uh, starts with our leaders tomorrow, including myself, and we'll come, we'll come in, the, in the arena with the right mindset. And then the, the second part is exactly around focus. How do you, we spoke with Kyle and Steve, and they particularly spoke around their adversity in their life, not around basketball, and that's what keeps them focused on the present. For you, how do you particularly stay living moment to moment? Um, well, uh, that's a great question. I just try to enjoy the journey, and it's been a very long one since uh, we've been on this, you know, championship run, whether it was, and it started way back, you know, 2014, so um, you wish to have no end in sight, but uh, everything that's great always comes to an end, so whether that's tomorrow or four years from now, you never know, that's the beauty of life, so you just got to go out and enjoy every minute you do with the group of guys you got, because it's in professional sports. Nothing's ever guaranteed, and um, you can, you know, look back on any professional league and see that uh, there's so many examples in the history of the sport. So that's how like, what keeps me in the present moment. And in the front, Clay and Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. Can you just give us an update on how you felt immediately after the game? How you're feeling now, and and what you know you had said at eight, you would play at 80 percent. What percent do you think you're going to be at tomorrow night? Um, oh, I felt. You know, does did not feel good after the game. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm a little sore, but just more mentally and emotionally, just kind of it sucks losing at this stage. Any finals loss is hard, so you got to digest that. But um, physically, I feel great. Like I said, I was like 80 percent the other night, so I'm, I'll be inching closer to 90 to closer to 100, hopefully by tomorrow. And. Um, I mean, everyone's banged up out there. I'm sure the Raptors got guys who aren't feeling well. You just gotta, rely, you know, rely on your will and your teammates, and it'll get you'll get the job done. Davide on the right. Uh, Clay. Davide Chinellato, Gazzetta Italy. Uh, Coach Kerr just said there's a chance KD might be back. Uh, my question is, um, what did you see in him in these days that he's been away from the team? He's been out. And as a player just back from, the inju from an injury, you missed the game. Uh, how do you leave those moments in which you can, you can help your team? It's the hardest part about being a, an athlete is uh, going through injuries, especially when your team's playing for a championship. It sucks. I feel for Kevin. I know what type of competitor he is. And uh, we uh, obviously miss him dearly. But. Um, whether it's tomorrow or game six, we just got to do everything in our willpower to help them get back. And if that's win a game and be patient, then we got to go do that. But uh, he will be very welcome, I'll say that much. He, uh, I think it's pretty easy to realize we obviously miss him out there. And he's uh, propelled us to two championships in the last two years. So 
um, be pretty storybook if you come back and you know help us do the same. Um, but uh, injuries are the hardest part of sports, and it's you just got to play through them and not play through them, but manage the injury. It's tough. I mean, I'm, I went through it. Kevin's is much more serious than all of ours, and I know how badly he wants to be out there. Uh, he's one of the best competitors I've ever been around. Mark in the third row on the right. Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Hi, Clay. You guys were uh, down in a similar situation in the conference final against Oklahoma City a few years back. How much did that experience help you in this, and what is the difference between this situation and that one? Um, I mean, what I remember from that is just the same I'm feeling now. It's just basketball, and you know, I just got to go get one to start. And um, I'm using the motivation of bringing one back to Oakland to help. You know, we feel like the city of Oakland deserves one more game at least. So if we want that to happen, we got to go out and take care of business tomorrow. And um, I was also on the other side, 3-1, losing a lead. So I re try to reference that standpoint, how I was feeling back then. You know, maybe I don't know if the Raptors are feeling this, but you feel very confident. You know, all you got to do is win one. So, and uh, so you see both sides. And how is it similar? Um, I mean, both teams, that OKC team and this Raptor team, are very similar as far as their length, athleticism, star power. And uh, yeah, you just got to take it one game at a time. Thank you, Colleen. Steph Curry will be next.